All right, we're gonna talk about the standards for the five rep max bench. Now, for each lift, the bar height is already going to be preset. Now, it's obviously going to be set to a kind of shorter armed individual. So if you have to do a little bit of an extra press to get it up, there will be a spotter there to help you lift the bar off. Now, if you get a lift off, and then even if you lift it off yourself, before you begin your first rep, the bar has to be completely still at arm's length locked out before lowering down. So I'm gonna show you what we do want on the start of your first lift and what is not acceptable. So I'm gonna lift the bar off and then come to a stop right here before I lower it down. Okay, now what we don't want, whether you're lifting it yourself or you have a lifter, you cannot take it off the rack and immediately go down in one motion. That would look like this. Okay, so again, unrack it, then come down. If you do have someone helping you lift it off, you'll have your hands on the bar, say lift off it on go, three, two, one, go. They lift the bar off, they let it go, you stop, and then you go. Every rep must touch the body. Touch and up. This is not a powerlifting meet, so we are not asking you to pause on the body. So therefore, we can't say no bouncing, right? Because that's a little too subjective. So it just has to touch your body. If you're someone that kind of bounces off the chest a little bit, so be it. Um, if you absolutely do not have the flexibility to get the bar to your chest, let the judge know beforehand that like, hey, this is all I have, right? If I can only get here and the bar is like two inches off and you physically can't go any further, which I don't know if we have any of those or not, but if that's the case, let the, let the judge know. As far as feet position, those can be wherever you want. You can have your feet out here in front. You can have them tucked back. Heaven forbid your feet don't go up in the air like this, but if they do and you get the lift, that still counts. So there's no standard on the feet. There's no standard on the position here. As far as the hips go, we're going to be okay if the hips come off of the bench as long as you don't look like you're thrusting up aggressively every single rep. So, and I know there's a little bit of gray area, but if I'm driving up and I'm squeezing my glutes and my butt comes off, again, it's not a powerlifting meet and that might be a little subjective, so we're going to say it's good. Let me show you what that would look like. Watch the bench right here. So if you noticed, I was squeezing and my hips came up and you could maybe fit like a ink pen under there or something, right? So it was just a little bit, right? That's gonna be completely fine because we can't have a judge worried about that and also spotting at the same time. And we're not gonna have two judges per station. It's just not feasible. Lastly, on your fifth rep, in order for it to count, just like how we started the lift, you must finish locking the arms out and the bar goes still for a moment prior to going onto the rack. Never, in this competition or in class, in your regular training, never finish your last rep just with the intention of putting it onto the rack, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. This demonstration is what you do not do. Okay, you're not focusing on just going to the rack. This is what you will do. So notice the lockout, and then you go back. As far as how much weight's on the bar, who's changing that, that's all for a different uh, video or article. This is just about your standards. If you have any other questions regarding how we are performing the five rep bench, please ask one of the coaches.